We went to the highest paved road in Colorado. If you want to go here, you do have to reserve a timed entry spot um, during the main hours of the day. But that's kind of how a lot of attractions in Denver and the surrounding areas work. You just kind of have like this timed entry and maybe like a fee that you'll pay. But this was worth every bit of the $15 that I spent. drive on the way up is a little bit nerve-wracking and for some people the drive on the way down too there are no guardrails and this road is clearly at such a high elevation you look around i mean you miss a turn it's gonna be fatal but all you have to do is drive it it's really crazy that there's no like guard just don't do anything crazy don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine this experience was like one of the best and coolest experiences I've had. You're literally at the top of a mountain essentially. And it's cool not only for the views, like there's literally a telescope up there and you can look and you can see the airport, which is probably like an hour and a half away, maybe even longer than that. You can see the Gaylord Rockies, like you can see just like without even the telescope, Denver clearly, you can see everything. like. The mountains are beautiful. The views are immaculate. But it's not only cool for that, there is a wildlife. You can see marmots. <laughs> they look like Gosh, this is the ones I was talking about that I wanted to see. These are certified mountain goats. Holy crap. This is amazing to see. mountain goats you can see the i guess they're ram i don't know experiencing the climate change is just like crazy because denver that day was 94 degrees and like going up there it was it had to be 40 to 50 degrees like it was cold and windy and there was still snow When you're going up there, you're definitely going to experience a lot of switchbacks. Um, some areas of the road have potholes. They are bumpier than other areas. However, any regular car can drive this road. It's paved. It's not like you need all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or a high-clearance vehicle. We went up there in a car and we were perfectly fine. Overall, I'd say this is a must-do experience for everyone. Um, I think it cost... $15 a vehicle. It has the highest paved road in North America. It also has the highest altitude like city park in North America, which is called Summit Lake Park. And it's just absolutely stunning as well. They're at the same place. Um, it's just kind of like a part of the journey up. But I definitely suggest this for anybody who is in the Colorado or the Denver area. Definitely, definitely something to cross off your bucket list.